Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell I'm going to be doing a natural spring look with flawless base makeup. So first I'm using my Benefit Professional just to like smooth out the skin and give a really nice base for the foundation to go on top of. So I'm just using a really little pea sized amount because it really does go a long way and um, I only need a little bit on some areas of my face. So. So now I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the colour Ivory. I really love it um, and I'm going to use a stippling brush from Real Techniques to do that. I really like this foundation because it only takes one or two pumps to cover your whole face and it's a really good colour match, it doesn't oxidise and also even though it's really light and you can hardly tell it's there, it covers everything you need it to. So I'm just buffing that in with the stippling brush because it doesn't add too much product and it just really evenly distributes all of the foundation. Now that's all blended in, I'm going to use the Lasting Perfection Concealer from Collection just to cover any blemishes and marks and redness that I want to cover up. I'm going to pop it on the back of my hand first just because that's more hygienic, like that, and then I'm just going to use my ring finger just to pat it onto the skin. This is in the colour Fair, by the way, so it's the palest shade that we have, that I have, we have, collection has. And I'm just using my ring finger just to like melt it all over the skin. Now that's done, it is time to conceal my eyes. So I'm using the Wake Me Up Concealer from Rimmel in the shade Ivory, which is the palest, I think. Um, just because it's really light reflecting and it wakes up the under eye area really nicely. Now that's all blended in nicely, I'm going to pop some powder on my skin. So I'm using the Stay Matte from Rimmel in the just the translucent shade. Because I think if you're pale when you add a, you know, like a powder with colour, it can like look a bit off. And I'm using a fluffy brush from New Look to do that. I'm just kind of patting rather than kind of swirling, just because it keeps most of the product on the face and prevents you from wiping all your foundation and concealer off. Which is annoying. <laughs> And that is the base done, so that was really really quick and easy, I think it took me like four minutes to do that. Um, and I think it adds a really nice, subtle, kind of soft matte finish, but it looks really natural, I think anyway. <laughs> so I'm just going to turn that into more of a spring look now, by just using a few extra products. This is the Natural Collection Blusher, and I think it is in the colour Peach Melba. It's really really affordable, I think it's less than £2, and it's just a really kind of natural flushed colour, especially if you're pale. Now it's mascara time. I'm using the Day to Night Mascara from Rimmel, so I absolutely love it, and I've had it for like loads and loads of like, many years basically, I've just used it a lot, so. Gone back to that old favourite. Now I've got my fluttery lashes on, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using MAC Amiga and just a little angled brush. I'm not really like a big fan of the heavy brows at the moment, I think for spring and going into summer it's better to have like quite light natural features, so I'm just literally dusting through um, the powder. And that is literally it for this makeup look. Um, I just popped a little bit of um, Vaseline on my lips just because I didn't want to add any colour but I just kind of wanted to moisturise them a bit. 
and that's literally it so I really hope you enjoyed this look and if you recreate it for school or anything like that or just for spring let me know bye